Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a One Piece discussion video where I will be talking about Is Jack a Disappointment? Now, since his introduction, Jack has been really hyped up, especially since we realized as though. Of course, Jack was first hinted at way back in Punk Hazard, I believe. But ever since we've arrived on though, we've been getting Jack hyped. However, really sit down a minute. And really think about it, guys. Even though Jack is incredibly powerful, he he had been giving he had been given a challenge by the mink. I understand that, but does that make Jack a disappointment? No, it did not. Whitebeard had Akai Inu gave Whitebeard a slight challenge. Did that make Whitebeard a disappointment? No, it did not. Jack didn't even name an attack, and as I said in my review for the chapter. That unless you name an attack, unless you name an attack, it's very likely that you're not in your best. That that's not in your best. I mean, most of the time in anime, it happened with Fujitora. Fujitora didn't really start trying at all until he, he, uh, he did his first major attack, and that attack had a name. So until Jack gets an attack a name, we know he's not using any of his top of the notch attacks that are in his arsenal. Okay? Another thing is that Jack fought the cat guy, whose name I cannot remember, I apologize, and the duke. He fought them both off, right? They are both around the same power, and he was capable of fighting off them both. These are people that, from what they were, the duke, from what he was saying, that guy was fucking with Jenks a bit. He never said he fought Jenks, but instead he once met Jenks. Like, you know, this guy knows Jenk. This guy knows... I mean, I, the way he talked about Jenk gave him a feeling that he definitely no pushover. Especially the way he handled Jack. The point I'm trying to make here is that since Jack has arrived, he really just... He hadn't tried, and he took out all of those without trying. He did that without trying and with an army. Now, some people like to use the argument that, you know... Uh, I think it was Wanda. Yeah, Wanda said if it wasn't for Caesar poison gas. Now, I have something to say about that. Just because Wanda said they would have won if it wasn't for Caesar poison gas, doesn't mean it's true. Sit down for one minute and really think about it. Caesar poison gas is dangerous. It's torture. And it's very powerful. It can torture you, it's dangerous, it can kill you. No matter what form of attack it is, these are gas is dangerous. However, it isn't Dragon Ball Z. These mink men had no way of confer proving. Yeah, they had no way of proving that what they're saying is true. There is no way for us to know that they would have won. For all we know, Jack could have been holding back. What Wanda is saying is based off of her intel she has from the battlefield. Wanda does not know for sure, it is not a fact, that if they didn't use the poison gas, they would have lost. Wanda is just saying that based off of intel she had. Because that's common sense, because there is no way she could know how strong Jack is. So based off of their intel, they could, they should have won, and they would have won if Jack hadn't used the poisonous gas. However, Jack could be, maybe Jack just felt like it was taking too long and wanted to go get the flamingo. Who really knows? But Jack probably just didn't want to fuck around with these guys, and are probably like, new Caesar, Poison, Gas, take them all out, I'm sick of fighting them. That, in my opinion, is the most likely scenario. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that Jack had not been a disappointment. In my opinion, Jack had been awesome. Jack had the bounty of one billion berries, for God's sake. The highest fucking bounty to date. Alright? Jack is not a disappointment. Just because the mink said they would have won if it wasn't for Caesar gas, doesn't mean that's true. That means they think they would have won. And Jack hasn't tried since he arrived, since we've seen him on though. All right, you know when a character is going all, it's actually really trying because when a character in One Piece or most manga and anime is trying, they normally have an attack that they have a name for. Like, when L Zoro didn't try, doesn't really try a lot, like, but you know Zoro's trying when he cuts Pika in half and doesn't Stuntonio die, send Sakai. 
you know he's taking it seriously because he's using an attack with a name. And also because of the mood and stuff, but you know when you're using an attack with a name, that means it was so, it's such a powerful attack that he just felt the need to name it. Alright? That is the point. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is that Jack, has been, Jack hasn't got all out since, since we've seen him fight on Zoe. Uh, Jack is not confirmed to have been taken, to have needed the poison gas. It is only something that we are basing off of a couple of words Wanda said that she that we had no evidence that is confirmed. It's just Wanda saying it. Just because you a character said something doesn't mean it's fact. Guess what? Luffy said he was gonna stay there. Was it a fact that he was gonna stay there? Not really, but he didn't. Well, that's the, okay. He he did stay there, but Luffy had Luffy's goal was to stay there completely. Like, you know, make sure Ace got out of Marine Fort alive. Did it happen? No. Just because a character said something doesn't make it a fact. Just, so just because Wanda said, without Caesar Gaff, we would have won, doesn't mean that's true. Jack was holding back tremendously. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this One Piece discussion video. In conclusion, Jack is not a disappointment in my opinion. Please tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. But above all else, please remember to like, Comment and subscribe for more videos. It's a One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.